Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, we're going to be going over the 360 Fly app this time. So I've just turned on my 360 Fly 4K 360 camera. And let's go ahead and try to connect to it through the mobile app. So just like a few of the other apps, there's a, a typical, I guess, sharing or social network per se of everyone who's uploaded um, their own images as well as video. Um, 360 Fly definitely focuses pretty much only on video uh, because that's really the main reason they, they built it was for action video. Um, this the, the, the photo quality is pretty subpar compared to, to everything else. Um, as you can compare in if you check out our blog, or, yeah, if you check out the blog, uh, we do have a comparison or go to, I forgot which pano, I think it's easypano.com. And if you search for 360 Hippo, um, I've had, I have comparison of the Nikon 360, Fly 360, uh, the Ricoh 360, the Omni Rig, and then the LG 360 as well. So that way you can see uh, which panoramics, panoramic uh, photos actually look the best, as well as the videos. Uh, we have the videos on Facebook as well as YouTube. So check those out if you want to see a, a complete comparison of pretty much every single, not every single, but the most common consumer cameras out there. So let's go ahead and get into the app. So this is the home menu. Uh, like I said, it's a social network-ish where people just share a bunch of their videos, which is nice. Um, here's our profile, which I've uploaded some videos of Forest Park. Uh, it's basic account settings, nothing too exciting. You can link up to uh, Twitter and Facebook, just like the, um, the Rico Theta. So, on my phone, so we've transferred, uh, downloaded some uh, videos and photos. Um, so once they're on our phone, we can actually transfer them or share them. So we're at videos right now. Um, YouTube 360 and Facebook 360 both work pretty well, as well as the 360 Fly. So whenever you share to the 360 Fly network, um, once they are loaded, actually, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Just so we can see an example. Um, well, I've uploaded all of these. I don't know if it's going to let me upload them again. There you go. I guess it will. So we're going to go ahead and upload that image to... It's not going to pop up here again because technically I believe it's a duplicate. Yeah, because I already fits it right there. That's okay though. So while that's loading... Let's go ahead and uh, connect to the live view. It usually finds it pretty quickly. There's the 360 fly. Go ahead and there we go. Now we are connected to it. Excellent. So here is um, the current live view. Um, and for the Fly360, um, you should probably know by now that it's actually only 240 degrees. I believe it's 240 or 260 of actual viewing um, area. So obviously you can't see my, you can't go lower than my coffee table point of view. So you can't even see the, the coffee table or go below it and see my carpet. Um, so that's one potential downside to the, the, the 360 Fly 4K versus pretty much every other um, 360 camera out there. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, look at some of the features. Uh, this is interesting, it basically just bounces around on the live video. Uh, if it would work correctly. Strange. Usually it works pretty well. Huh. Okay. 
Well, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out the camera settings. Uh, we have 60, uh, about 64 gigabytes of internal memory. There is no external expansion uh, possible. So the, the triggered recording is uh, interesting. Um, I've, I have not played around with these or tested these out, but it does seem pretty cool that you can either turn, turn on recording uh, based on audio, motion, accelerometer, all that fun stuff. So basically this, cam this camera is focused on action sports and action activities or where there's a lot of action or movement going on. So they kind of built a camera for a specific niche and niche and it works pretty well for that and that only though. So if you're looking for something that can do uh, panoramic photos and video, pure 360 degrees, this is not the uh, camera for you. Um, it only focuses on what are 240, 260 uh, point of view, and you actually have to point it in the, in the correct direction for it to actually view that. Because um, it's only one... Um, Fish Islands compared to all the others, which have two or more. So we have some decent options here. That's nice. Um, and we can also check out the video. So we have some options for the video. Frames per second. Size, all that fun stuff. Point of view is actually we directly point towards the ceiling. And that might be a little awkward to see, but we're going to go back to the normal view. There we go. Uh, we can also set the uh, time lapse, which is interesting. It's nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a picture of the door. And I'm not sure what's going on there, but we're going to take a, let's go ahead and take a video as well. So. It's there we go. Nice little video. So we're actually looking at the videos and photos on the the camera itself. As you can see, I've taken plenty of examples. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Let's go ahead and download on the right side. Oh, oh there's a there's a, a basic preview, which is nice. Uh, I guess the the one good thing about um, having only one fish eye is that there's no stitching involved, so you will not have any stitching um, issues, like the uh, the Nikon 360 or occasionally with the the Ricoh th um, the Rico Theta S for video. Let's go ahead and download this pretty quick. We can go to our device, our, our uh, phone. So now we're on our phone and there we go. Now we got the, the photo and we can share it. So we have a few, uh, few 360 options um, that work pretty well. But uh, do be aware that when you do share uh, to certain apps, there will be a mirrored image on the ground because we do only display up to 240 or 240 or 260, I forgot which one it is, um, degrees. So there'll be a, a mirrored image on the bottom for the rest of the whatever 120 potentially degrees. So that's basically it. Um, we can go ahead and check out, yeah, so it uploaded, up oh, there you go, it uploaded our, our duplicate uh, video that we tried sharing uh, through the uh, Fly Network, so we do have that now. And that is the, the basics of the, the 360, so it's pretty simple, you have a, you know, a decent amount of, of settings. Overall, it's it's pretty nice. So 
no complaints, uh, but obviously it's built for a specific region, a, re a specific reason, and one reason only, and that's for action, motion, video capture only. And you have to point it directly into the specific point of view that you want to record, because it's not 360. So make sure that you have the, the correct attachments, um, so that way you can point it in the direction that you want, rather than if you just set it down, then you're only going to look at the ceiling, like uh, the example here. And no one wants to look at a ceiling in a living room. So that is the basic overview um, of the 360 uh, Fly. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Thanks.